on my YouTube channel uh, previously, we were working in the 4.0 genre. However, as of recording this video, we are now at 5.1. So I wanted to give a little bit of background, uh, just kind of starting fresh here. Now, you're going to want to go to epicgames.com and you're still going to see a lot of similar items. And one thing that they do still keep the same uh, is up in your upper right hand corner here, you still have the sign in and you still have get epic games. Now with the Unreal Engine 5.0 Plus, uh, you still want to download the Epic Games installer, but also too, if you do not have an account, you can create the account right on the website by going to sign in. This has not really changed too much. Uh, if you don't have the Epic Games account, you have to go all the way to the bottom here and choose to sign up. However, as you can see, uh, Epic Games style here, you still have a lot of options as far as signing in. Uh, so, again, it's up to folks here how they want to do this. Uh, personally, I have a lot of students that like to use their Google or their Steam accounts. I like to keep my accounts separate from one another until, you know, and choose to link them. So I actually made myself an Epic Games account whenever I signed up. So you'll want to go through the sign up process, but then also you're going to want to download the Epic Games installer. And when you click, you can see down here, it's just automatically going to download the MSI folder for you. Now, I'm not gonna go through the install process, but I am gonna come in here and just show you real quick that honestly, as far as the Epic Games launcher goes, not a lot has changed here as far as the layout goes. On your first install, you may come to this store window here where it'll have all of your information as far as getting games and things like that, which you can download. You also then have the library area that stores all of your current games that you have that uh, either are associated with your account or you've downloaded. Really for the scope of this class and my channel, I stick to the Unreal Engine area. Now, with the Unreal Engine area, this all has not changed too much. In later videos, you'll see I get into talking about the projects, I'll talk about the vault, but one thing I wanna to talk to you a little bit about is the engine versions up here, because that's gonna get you started as far as installing and also getting set up. One thing to point out is, as you can see here, at this point, I'm running 5.1.0. However, just like in previous versions, you do have the plus symbol next to the engine version, which will actually let you download and install previous versions of your game engine. This becomes a little bit important from the standpoint that as you can see under my projects, I have some projects down in the corner here that are 4.27. I have a 5.0 here, a couple of 5.0s that could run into some issues. And at some point here, I do need to go through and actually update these for 5.1.0. However, the one nice thing with Unreal is that we are capable of having multiple installations of the engines. So if you're working on a previous version and you're not ready to update it to say 5.1, you can actually have another instance of the game engine installed. However, yes, uh, this is going to start to take up a lot of space as far as your hard drive is concerned. So you want to make sure you have that extra space. You change your mind like I'm going to do here since I'm really only focusing on 5.1. In the upper left hand corner, I can just hit the X button, it'll remove that for me. So once you have that set up, a couple of other things just to point out to folks is down in the lower left hand corner, these are kind of your main controls here. So you do have a settings that sometimes this will have a kind of star next to it or a green light. And same with the downloads letting you know that you need to update your Epic Games Launcher. You can go ahead and do that. It, I haven't seen too much as far as it breaking anything. And then you also have your account information that you can access directly in your browser here. So that's kind of the basics there as far as getting started. Again, not too much has changed. Uh, jumping into the 5.0 uh, 
uh, era of Unreal Game Engine as far as the launcher goes.